Hello and welcome, last week of January, presenting from the greenhouse to shelter me from the cold wind. So a really, really quick video this week. Parsnips sowed in May. All oh, the tops have died off. Were there any parsnips under the ground? Yes, there were. All good there. Leak of the week. of the week still some leaks left to keep you going for the next few weeks so january for me general maintenance of the plant just fix bits of wood straighten bits of wood up on, on on your beds and stuff like that so there's a bit of wood dividing the strawberry bed from the hugel culture bed hugel culture or the grassy knoll as we like to call it that piece of wood's been there at least 10 years uh, it used to serve a purpose now all it does is harbour a nice space for grass to grow so that is gonna that's gonna go would it be a problem rotting wood old screws and stuff 20 minutes took me took all that out managed to salvage some wood to fix one of the edges of another bed when you reuse and recycle which is kind of my ethos um, wood Piece of wood are never quite long enough, so two bits of wood did the job. So that kind of sums up January. There's still a bit of stuff in the ground. Get the plot ready for um, the growing season. Now, there's a little mystery, little mystery this week that I hope you can help me solve. So I'll hand over to Dave from yesterday. Bit of a mystery today, I hope you can help me with. Two weeks ago, I sowed my garlic between these cans. Garlic. Garlic. Everything looks alright. We wander down the plot towards the back to the pond area and we find One clove of garlic, two cloves of garlic, three cloves of garlic, seemingly ripped out of the ground, moved near the water. For what purpose? What creature did this and why? Thoughts please. So if you've got any idea what happened there, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe. Send me a comment. See you next time. Cheers.